Hi, I'm Marty Nimco. It seems that ever more drivers are rude or dangerous. Here's some examples. They're tailgating you, or they're speeding up to prevent you from getting into their lane. They treat the freeway like a speedway, dangerously darting in and out at lanes of lanes at 100 miles an hour, passing so close to you and other cars that there's no room for error, cutting you off and then slowing down driving with seeming indifference to their tailpipe, spewing the smelly, likely carcinogenic exhaust. It's unlikely the person's unaware of it because the smoke can be smelled inside the car almost assuredly. On local streets with the windows down, playing super loud, thumping music, selfishly giving pedestrians and drivers no choice but to have their ears assaulted, flipping you off if you grimace in response to such a behavior. Unless you're a calm person, such behaviors can get to you. It may help you stay calm if you consider the possible causes of such behavior. Could be a type A angry personality, maybe in the face of their having had consistent life failures. I guess if you feel your life has spat you out, you can irrationally feel the right to recourse like with those kind of behaviors. Get back at the world. Or uh, it could be caused in part by a desire for control, maybe because they lack of control in much of their life. All of us come to confront the reality that less is in our control than we had hoped. And it may be that the pool of people who exhibit such rude, dangerous behaviors see driving as a oppor particular opportunity to exert control, you know, how fast and how riskily they drive. Or it could be caused in part by thrill-seeking, which is common, of course, among the young. Many young adults feel immortal, maybe because they feel so much life in them or because they haven't yet encountered much death as they've lived their short amount of time on this earth. And with regard to the loud music, maybe the person perceives that as attracting positive attention, maybe even as a pickup tactic. How do you stay calm? Of course, it's easier said than done. But might you find within yourself the empathy, the forgiveness for their bad behavior, or more selfishly, might you be able to keep in mind that such drivers don't deserve to disturb your equanimity and rather <laughs> and to trigger your, your releasing of that unhealthy hormone cortisol, let alone making you jump out of your car and yelling at the driver? Um, well, what if that bad driver is you? Do you commit one or more of the above offenses? If so, uh, consider the reasons that I've mentioned in your heart of hearts. Do you feel okay about continuing to do such things? Or do you want to develop the new habit of being a respectful driver? And if you're not motivated by altruism, do consider that you're less likely to get an expensive ticket or to have your license revoked. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.